In this presentation, I'm going to teach you about the five do's and don'ts of successfully selling your products on Etsy. Many people who sell their handmade clothing and jewelry on Etsy do not have much experience with sales, so it makes sense that new Etsy sellers would make mistakes once in a while. This guide should help you avoid the mistakes that a lot of first-time Etsy sellers make. Not only that, but I'll be going over what exactly you need to do to be successful on Etsy. Keep in mind that this won't necessarily be a comprehensive list. That said, it will be a good place to start. Let's get into it. 1. Do use plenty of photos. What is the first thing that catches your eye when you visit someone's Etsy shop? The pictures of their products, of course. When it comes to showing off your products on Etsy, you can't go wrong with using a lot of high-quality photos. If you'd like, you can hire a professional photographer to take these photos. Don't use poor quality photos. No one is going to want to purchase your products if your photos are bad. At the very least, you'll want to make sure that you're using good lighting and a nice backdrop when taking pictures of your products. 2. Do use keywords to your advantage. You'd be surprised what a difference using keywords in your product descriptions can make. If you sell handbags, make sure to use keyword handbags as many times as you can. This will help drive traffic to your Etsy shop. Don't use bland descriptions. It's important that you make your products both look and sound interesting. The better your product descriptions are, the more interested people will be in buying from your shop. 3. Do interact with your customers. Make sure to say thank you when someone orders something from your Etsy shop. Answer any questions they might have. By doing so, you'll earn their trust and they'll be a lot more likely to leave you a good review too. Don't ignore your customers. This probably goes without saying. Still though, chatting with your customers and addressing their concerns is going to be part of your job as an Etsy seller. Don't ignore them or you might receive a bad review. 4. Do fill out all of your shop's policies. Your customers will want to know what your return policy is how long it typically takes for items to arrive, and what they should do if an item gets ruined in the mail or doesn't show up. Don't be vague. Needless to say, you can't assume that every single order will go perfectly well every single time. This is why it's important to be clear about your shop's policies. If you are too vague, customers might lose trust in you as a seller. 5. Do look at your shop from a customer's perspective. A big part of finding success on Etsy is making sure that your shop looks nice and organized. This isn't just about having high quality photos. It's also about making sure that your product descriptions make sense and are up to date. Don't assume that your shop looks perfect. It's always a good idea to get perspectives from different people. You'll want to take your customer reviews into consideration as well. After all, the customer usually knows best. If you take the time to update your shop based on customer reviews that you agree with, people will see that you pay attention to your customers and will continue to buy from you. There you have it, the five do's and don'ts of Etsy success. Good luck out there and happy selling! For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.